and there are other days where I'm like, oh no, I don't feel good at all. But I think it is just accepting it and learning to love it. My name is Rhiannon, I'm 24 from London and I'm honoured to be around so many different types of amazing women. So what did this shoot and being part of this shoot, what did that mean to you? It means a lot to me. It's something that like I, would, I wanted to do before I even knew about womanhood. Like, mm -hmm. like I love lingerie, yeah. like, I just love being, I feel the most confident when I'm in underwear. Yeah. And then when I found womanhood, I was like, I need to be a part of this. I just think it's great what she does, like empowering women, like celebrating diversity. Have you ever done anything like that before? Never in my life. It's like a thing of nightmares for me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't do public speaking and now I'm doing a photo shoot in my underwear. That's absolutely <laughs> crazy, but very commendable, so well done. <laughs> what makes you feel most confident? Because I have like big boobs, it's quite hard to find a nice bra and I love that womanhood has such a range of beautiful mm. underwear. So, because again, I'm quite insecure about my actual body, wearing something which is so like feminine, delicate and lacy, it just makes me feel like great about myself. <laughs> I mean, that's hard for me to like comprehend that you, you know, are insecure about your body, but I obviously, I know it's not really about the body, is yeah. it? It's kind of what's in our... It's all in the mind. <laughs> it's what's in our head. Can you take us on a brief journey of history with your body mm -hmm. um, and how that's evolved over the years and where your womanhood, which is the, you know, the concept of today, where that ties in yeah. with that? From such a young age, I've always been quite insecure. I was always a shy kid. I was always quite chunky, bigger than like my best friend who was so little. I always had that insecurity through most of my childhood, all of my adolescence. And I developed quite early. I started my period in primary school. So wow. yeah, so I always felt quite insecure there. Like when we had to go on swimming trips, I was like, I don't wanna have to swim in wear a swimming costume in front of like boys like group body hair and it's just quite embarrassing for me, something that I was quite ashamed of. And then I went to um, an all girls secondary school okay. and it just continued from there because I was always comparing myself to other girls who were much thinner. Yeah, that was quite a rough time and having to go like bra shopping with my mum, it would always end in tears, like it was a traumatising experience. Yeah. Is that because you because you didn't enjoy the experience of being fitted or because you were a size that you didn't want to be? Yeah, so like, I had the big boobs. I was always like quite curvy, but as a child, like it's not really what <laughs> you want. Um, so trying on bras where it'd be like just thick, ugly straps, they would never be as nice as like the smaller bras for smaller cup sizes. So I always just felt really different. Didn't understand why I had to wear these more supportive things when yeah. other girls were wearing like even like belly tops, things like that. Do you know what? I so relate to this because this, like, the story <laughs> that you just recounted sounds so similar to mine because I, again, was in an all girls school. Mm. Like, I developed really early. Like, I always had big boobs. Yeah. And I hated it. I absolutely hated it. And still today, I have like a slight hunch from mm. when I was trying to cover, cover yeah. them up. And same with bra fittings, it would just be a source of incredible anxiety mm. for me. Yeah. I just felt really like abnormal and I used to wear a bra all the time, like I never, I would never take it off because they're also not the perkiest of things. <laughs> um, so that was another like source of shame that they were big stretch marks, they were quite like mm. saggy. So then because I wore bras all the time, I would have like scars on my sides. Right. And I would like I'd force myself into bras that weren't made for me just because I right. wanted to feel like I could wear these like little delicate bras. So yeah, it was. <laughs> Did you have like the scars at the top there, mm, the little yeah. the indents? Yeah, from, yeah. <laughs> you get stretch marks, and you know they do they do sag. Like that's yeah. just totally normal. But I guess it's um, media representation has really framed how we see yeah. boobs, and it's really had an impact on our own. 100%. You know, self-esteem and how we... Do you think that's the case for you? A thousand percent. When I was young, I was really obsessed with celebrities, like, all Were the time, you? so I would always look at them. They're tiny, and yeah. so when I looked at my own, like, boobs, I think, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, they're not a normal shape, they're not a normal size. 
And I think it's like really mm. important, like this is why I love womanhood, to show diversity and the fact that there are other people that have like asymmetrical boobs or darker nipples, things like that. All bodies are, are normal. Yeah. It's just so good to show, so, you know, the diversity mm. in bodies because exactly. actually that's what's really beautiful as well. Like it's beautiful to have that diversity. And, it is. you know, we've thought that that was only you know, that one standard of beauty that we've seen for so long, mm. but actually there's beauty in so many different bodies. During lockdown, I had an, a big love-hate relationship with my body. A lot of people put on weight over lockdown, like if you're just stuck in the house all day. Yeah. And just putting on that weight, I just spent a lot of time looking in the mirror and mm. being like, oh God, like, I can't believe how much my body's changed from just like a few months before. And I don't know what, like, what changed my mind, but I feel like as I was losing confidence, I was also gaining confidence because with lockdown, I was kind of just like, can, you, can I swear? <laughs> I don't know. Are we allowed to swear? Allowed? <laughs> yes, we can swear. <laughs> <laughs> I was just it. like, look, fuck it. Like, life's short. Why am I here worrying about... Because it is, it's about what other people think of me. And I've realised yeah. that my body has always been for other people. It's like, I want to look this way so that men find me desirable or a woman looks like that. Why don't I look like that? And I was just like, I need to stop living to try and like please other people because at the end of the day, everyone cares more about themselves than they do anyone else. Don't they? Mm. Honestly, don't they? Yeah. And that is what I say to women all the time. Like people are so self-consumed mm. that we don't we don't have the capacity to really, you know, take on what someone else looks like or whether someone else has put on yeah. weight. Like, I mean. I, you know, I feel like a lot of women know that. They know that rationally, but m making themselves believe it emotionally mm -hmm. is another, is, is another yeah. story. So is there anything you think that contributed to you truly being able to say, fuck it? I don't think so. It's been such a process and such a long okay. process of learning to... So it's still not like self-love, it's more self-acceptance. Okay. I, like, sometimes I do, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I look good today, but then there are other days where I'm like, oh, no, I don't feel good at all. But I think it is just accepting it and learning to love it. So it is, yeah, yeah I would still say it's such a process. And this yeah. right here is like a massive step for me. So I would Amazing. say that's, that's a big moment to show how much my mindset has changed. How do you feel for you when you when you look in the mirror now? How do you feel about your body? Again, it's 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 mixed review. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm, it I'll depends just, on the day. It depends on the day. Okay. Like I'm still, I just don't think I will be happy with like the bottom of my belly. But I'm like, it's there now. I'm getting older. It's hard to get rid of. <laughs> but I'm still like, I have bits of my body that everyone's like, oh, this is so nice. So it's like you shouldn't just hate yourself because things you hate about yourself, other people love like i'm yeah. yeah like i'm curvy like i like i have like a small waist and big hips and i'm just like learning to embrace those curves and like all the different shapes that my body can make that shift when you start to look at your body and try and notice the beauty in it yeah that's quite exciting isn't it yeah it's a it's a big thing yeah, yeah. it's amazing totally so today, right now, what would you say your relationship is with your womanhood? How would you describe that? I think, um, like, if I was using words to describe it, I'd be like, em empowerment, I think vulnerability, and like strength. I think there is strength in being vulnerable. Like, yeah. as all women, I feel like doing this, especially this shoot, I felt the most vulnerable I've ever been, but I also think it's so, strong that I've done this and that everyone else, all these other women are doing this. Um, everything that we go through, like social media, um, we have to deal with all of that and like come through the other side. So I think, yeah, when I think of my womanhood, I think of like overcoming shit like that. <laughs> Resilience and yeah. I love that, I love that. <laughs> and empowerment, I think that's like, even though it's a word that is like can be overused, I think it's such an important mm. word, and um, especially when it comes to womanhood, just like claiming back that power that is you know taken from women in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Um, and it sounds like that you're really, you know, well into your journey with that, and it's really cool to see. And <laughs> you should be so proud of yourself for today. It's so exciting. <laughs>